Hey guys, you're back with Jazzy Evo X and look at what I've got today. A nice delivery from the boys at akracing.com.au. They have got the latest shipment of Club Spec custom designs parts in from um, our good friends over in America. And it, this is just what the doctor ordered. So I've got their GR5 um, burnt finished in the nice blue purple gold silver um, aircon valves so here's what they look like when they arrive and again um, I've decided to change my dipstick handle from the raw finish uh, one that I'd purchased before and this time I've also got the GR5 one so it's it is a substantial increase in costs but um, as you know recently I've been purchasing and modifying my engine bay to have the carbon and burnt finish on a number of products and have a lot of things planned on the way so i'm not going to show a video on how to install this because i've actually got a video up on youtube already if you check my channel you'll be able to see how i removed the oem dipstick then simply punched out the um, little locking pin like this and then pushed the dipstick on and then push this new locking pin in so that's uh, very easy to do and if you're just wanting to see how it's done that's no problem so that'll be a replacement one for that one there awesome I love the colors on this I'll take it out of a package in a second just so you can see and then this one here just requires a simple allen key it just uses an allen key grub screw as you can see it's just uh, uh, a cylinder and it just simply goes over the top of these valves so let's open it up and see what it looks like here we are i've just cut open the package and look at the finish on that that is unreal so as i said these just use a um, tiny little grub screw so as you can see you just wind it out place this cap over the aircon valve and then tighten it up much the same as what a handbrake cover is like when you go to um, install one awesome finish so I'll just try that now. Apparently when you install these, you're actually supposed to undo these um, plastic caps. And when you do, you will hear some um, slight air gas um, sound. But uh, he assured me that inside here, there is a one-way valve. And that sound that you hear as you are releasing that cap is it just hitting that tip of that valve it doesn't actually let air con out it's a one-way valve so that when that tip of that part there is touched um, air can be air con can be regassed um, the gas can be placed back into the system and um, similar thing for this so what that means is and I'm sorry about this annoying bird up there but hey that's life in the suburbs um, what that means then is that yes this cap will be able to go on and I can see that the grub screw will tighten sort of about at that level so I'll tighten that in just a second all the way down probably do that just now so I've been able to tighten that grub screw and as you can see it fits quite firmly so just in case you're wondering when you buy and go to install these caps yes they are actually meant to um, be removed so I'll hang on to these keep them at, at home and now I'll be able to proceed with the dipstick handle install so here is what the actual dipstick looks like with um, when it's fully installed as you can see here there's a tiny little grub pin in there it's not a screw so you do have to use something to actually push that pin out um, once you do that then the dipstick will fall down and um, you will then be able to use the new um, locking pin I guess you could call it with the new handle let's come back and see what that looks like okay guys so here's what the actual dipstick handle looks like and the pin and the actual dipstick so you simply just place this dipstick over 
a little bit difficult to do this with one hand, but once you get to the point where the hole is, then you simply just tap that locking pin through and you're done. So there you have it guys, I've been able to push the pin through. Um, those colours are looking awesome on that, look at that, awesome. So that pin went through very easily, just simply tapped it down with a tiny little um, hammer. So now I'll install it into the car, let's see what it looks like. Here we are, we've actually got the um, titanium dipstick handle installed. As you can see I've got the Cosbeck Custom Designs dipstick stopper as well. Here is their aircon valve covers. They call it GR5 Titanium. There's the Club Spec Custom hood strap bases, as well as their um, bonnet vents. Looks pretty neat. Just using a little light here to try and illuminate because I'm outside, about to go out. That looks pretty neat. So to go with my burnt finish intercooler pipe and blower valve, um, these new additions are really cool. Here's what it looks like from different angles. I needed something on the left hand side of my bay as you can see. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you like this product, please like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to, co to contact in Australia, akracing.com.au um, to place your order today. Or if you're in America or another part of the world, you should be able to contact them directly and they'll let you know who your local stockists are. Have a great day, guys.